Okay guys, so the next question is about telescope, okay? So let's draw a telescope. So you have here one part of the telescope. It's kind of a cylinder, right? And then you have another cylinder inside of it, another cylinder, another one, another one. And in the end, you have somebody that's looking inside this magnificent telescope, right? Looking and see what's going on. We, we can do legs to the telescope. This is a telescope, right? You can see the stars. Really nice. Perfect. But when this telescope is actually packed up, packed up, right, in a small box, they need to do it in that kind of way, you know, compact. And inside they have many cylinders, right? The cylinder of the telescope. For our simplification of the question, let's say that they got infinite cylinders. So many cylinders, they're so thin. Okay, but that's the idea. And what I'm gonna do with that in the company, I'm gonna take some plate, circular plate, here another circular plate, and I'm gonna push and touch all, all the cylinders at once. I touch them all and also apply some uh, voltage. Uh, what's the direction I did it? I did that way. Okay, so apply some voltage V0. And I touch it with this plate all the cylinders. Everybody, of the, every one of them. And some useful information that we have in the question, this distance is actually called L. Um, the radius of the, the bigger, the bigger, the uh, larger cylinder is A. And I know also what is the, it's not the charge density, it's the resistivity. The resistivity equal to rho zero over A multiplied by R. Some linear, uh, some linear resistivity, resistiveness, you see that in the end, you got the high resistivity and in the middle, it's a small resistivity. That's all. That's what we know. And the first question I want to ask you, what is the resistance of one typical cylinder in radius R? Okay, let's find that out. What, what is the resistance of one cylinder. Okay, that's a question. So let's define it as dl. Okay, why dl? Because you have a thickness really, really small, so it's gonna be differential resistor. And what is the formula for resistance? Yes, the sad face that we talked about in the previous video. Perfect, you got it, you do. You do a smiley face, a sad face with two eyes, right? Two eyes. And then you have make this one as A, this one as Rho, and this one as L. Right? That's how you remember it before you learn it by heart. So what is the length of the cylinder that we are talking about? All the cylinders have the same length, which is L. So this is L. What is the resistivity? The resistivity is given for each radius. So if this is a function of L, got it? And the resistivity is rho zero over A multiplied by R, perfect. And what is the area that we are seeing if I'm the current and I'm coming, boom, into the cylinder, I actually see what I see. So this is a little bit, uh, little bit challenging, but that's the reason we're taking it slow. So it would be easy. So if I'm the corner coming to this cylinder, I see only this loop, right? That's what I see. But this loop has some area, right? It's kind of a ring. This is the opening, this is hollow, right? Nothing. But here you have got some area. And what is this area? It's a circle, right? This is the middle of the circle. So let's draw a circle. So that's what I see if I see the cylinder so I see this one and there's just many ways to go around it but I think the simplest way to go is to say that if this is d theta some angle so this one the length of this line is actually r the radius r d theta right 
and this distance from here to here is dr, right? The thickness of the cylinder that I'm having. So if I'm going to do the integral, it's going to be r multiplied by 2 pi. r multiplied by 2 pi, and also I'm going to okay, make it thicker by dr. So this is actually the area that I see. I got two units of length, which give me area. Perfect. So this is a 2 pi r dr. And what I'm seeing is insane. I see something really special only for this question, okay? Keep in mind, it's not meant that it's gonna happen in other questions, but in this question, I can see that the radius is actually canceled out. Okay, if this was a parabola or square root or something, it would not happen. But in this specific case, it's actually happened. So what did what does it give me? Let me clean this part. So actually I'm getting the dr is actually constant no matter what is the radius and the value of it, I can take a down road L 2 pi, 2 pi over 1 dr. This is the resistance. Okay, perfect. The next question is how the resistors connect to each other. Okay, I clean this one, but we're gonna draw it again because it's really important. So, and what two configuration do I have for resistors? I have parallel and in series, right? So previous question was in series. So let's draw the circle. So I have some current that coming and then what do you see? I see some cylinder. Right here, I have this kind of pita, this kind of uh, touch, touch plate that touch all the cylinder at once. Okay, so what do we have? We have something in series, right? Or we have something in parallel. What does it mean to have something in parallel? That everybody touch the battery. Each resistors feel the limit of the battery, feel the volts of the battery. All the resistors sharing the same volt between them, the same difference in volt. Everybody's like a king. Everybody get everything they want. All the battery for everybody. Everybody is rich. But in the case of resistor in series, only two, the one in the edges, actually touching the battery. And all the rest also want some of it and they start to fight about the voltage, who gonna get more. And the resistor that have more resistance gonna get the more voltage. That is the concept. But here, everybody connect to the battery. Everyone, everyone connect, let's do it like this. Everybody connect to the battery. Everybody gonna enjoy the same volt, okay? Perfect. So what's happening in our case? So we talked about the first cylinder. The first cylinder, I go through the cylinder, wonderful, I'm in the cylinder, and I touch the battery, perfect. But I have many cylinders. For example, I can have also this one, right? And this one also touching the battery, right? Because this thing is touching all the cylinder. So some of the current go through here, and I have another cylinder, for example, this one. And the same story go all over again. So actually all the cylinders touching the battery. So actually we can forget about this thing. And if we want to draw it more correctly, we can say that the current can, well, well, we can say that the current is actually arriving to the cylinders and see the first cylinder and then another cylinder and then another cylinder and then another cylinder, a lot, a lot, a lot of cylinders, and then in the end it's go outside and go back to the battery. But everybody enjoy the same voltage because everybody hold, uh, hold themselves between the boundaries of this battery. They feel these two nodes, they connect to them. Okay, we got it? Perfect. So we understand this is a parallel. So the next question is, what is the total resistor? Okay, so how are we calculating resistance in parallel? So our total of parallel is actually equal to what? To sum up 1 over the resistors, but in the end, don't forget to put minus 1 
for the units. As, as we talked before, this is the opposite way for the capacitors. Capacitors would be what? C total in parallel actually equal to what? Well, just sum, just sum them. The opposite way from capacitors. So remember that in mind, okay? Just a reminder. So let's do it. So our total of all of this telescope is actually equal to the sum of 1 over dr, right? Uh, 1 over dr uh, minus 1, right? So I'm uh, looking at that idea, and what I can say, I can take this sigma and change it to an integral, right? So this one's gonna be integral, and I'm gonna use this minus 1 idea, right? To transform this, so I got here rho, f, rho 0 l 2 pi dr. What is the biggest distance that I'm going is zero, and the smallest one is zero. At the end is the biggest cylinder that I have, which have radius a. So this is just a constant. So the idea is just to, ah, and I forgot here, supposed to be here a, I think. And mm -mm -mm -mm, yes, there should be a over here. Wait, wait, something is looking uh, strange. Okay, at the resistivity, there was A that I missed out. So sorry about that. Here it should be A. In the resistivity, there was A. The resistivity was A. Rho, rho, zero over A multiplied by R. And I forgot this A. Forgive me about that. So here we have A. Okay? This is perfect. And, uh, okay, here. And this A is right now going up. It's going that way, okay, because I flip it. And when I do the integral, I just multiply by A, and that's give me our total of rho zero L A squared to pi. And don't forget, you need to do, sorry about that, A. Uh, 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 yes, in the end it's minus one. And I need to flip it around, right, because of the minus one. Here I put the opposite because it's 1 over, and right now I need to do minus 1, which is 2 pi rho 0 L A squared. Perfect. This is the resistance. The next question is, guys, this subject, it's really easy. It's always repeat itself. It's always the same. So uh, here it is. It's always the same. This was our, our total. So the next question is actually, what is the current that I have? What is the current? I equal question mark. So what is the current? Which law we're gonna use? The beer law, right? The veer. So Ohm's law, V equal I L. We know R, R is this one. And we know V, it's V zero, it's a constant. This is this one, so we actually know we actually know that a i equal v divided by r, which is v zero multiplied by this term l a squared divided by two pi. So we found the current, and if I want to calculate what is a mm -mm, what is the uh, the next question is, what is the power? Okay, we finish that one. What is the power? So what is P? P equal VI. We just talked about it in the previous question. So we know what is V0. So it's the same term, but we need to multiply by another V0. So it's V squared rho L A squared 0, 0, 2 pi. So this was really easy thing to do and a really interesting thing that I want to say is let's find out what is the current in each cylinder not I let's calculate di okay this is more interesting how we can do that we can say that di is actually the same voltage up into each cylinder but the resistance has changed right so what the resistance is V0 and we calculate what is dr. dr is actually 
L rho zero one over dr divided by two pi a. Okay. And what we get here, this going up, we can clean this one up. So it's two pi a v zero dr over L rho zero. What's super interesting here? Remember the dr was constant? This constant, constant over constant is actually a constant. So what I want you to see that we got a really special case because all the resistors are the same, have the same value. The current don't have any, any fav favorable resistor to go through. You go to each one of them with the same amount, okay? You go to this one, to this one, to this one, to this one with the same amount, which is this. This is di in the specific cylinder in radius r. They're all the same. But what happened to the current density? Let's check this one out. This is going to be really interesting. Okay? So, remember what we define what is the current density? We said it's i equal to the integral of j dA. That was the current density. We're going to say that j actually is a constant because if we're going to see the cylinder, there's no any favorable area in the cylinder. This point and this point, for me, all of them are the same. So I can say it's the same, right? So I can take it out of the integral. So j0 multiplied by the integral of dA equal to, this must be equal to i dI, right? We're talking about the specific cylinder. This one equal to what? To 2 pi, 2 pi r, which is the circumference of, the, of this one, and also have the, this unit of length, right, dr, dr. This is the area actually we're talking about, talking about this area of its cylinder. And di, j0, right? And di equal to 2 pi a, 2 pi a, v0 dr, which is cancelled out, 2 pi, which is cancelled out, divided by L rho zero. L rho zero, okay? Perfect. Now I want you to notice, now I want you to notice, the J is not constant. Let's clean the board a little bit. So let's clean the board to make it visible. So J zero is actually equal to what? To V zero over L rho zero a multiplied by one over r. So what's going on? If I'm going to the biggest cylinder, actually j is dropping down. The current density is changing. Why so? Think about the big cylinder and think about the small cylinder. This one have this area, right? And this one have this area. So this one have more area than the small one. But both of them should have the same current. Remember what we said? Both of them have the same current. But here I can see that I have this amount of dA, and here I have this amount, less dA's, and here I have a lot of dA's all over the place, right? So each dA need to get a smaller value of J. Okay, and then they're gonna sum up to I. If I have Le uh, less DAs, I need to compensate and have a bigger J. So this is the idea over here. It's really interesting. And this thing happened only because of the reason that, that we have the same resistance. Okay guys, so we finished the second question and we're done with this tutorial. Uh, I wish you best with the uh, homework that you have. And next week we're gonna start a new subject which is magnetic fields. So see you next week and good luck with the homework.